spotted something ladies and gentlemen that is bloody painful This Subaru has been here a long time look Alpina Welcome to a new episode. I'm ill, very ill. <laughs> There's a, a place I visited a couple of days, well, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a bit of footage of two really, really good cars. Um, I, I'd love one, but you'll see now. We, we, we jump over to that bit. You'll see that little bit that we've watched. Um, sorry, done. And then uh, we jump back to where I am now, Paulie Street. Just quickly before I go, before I go, before we go to look at that car, the, 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 the car, I want to quickly give these this company a shout out. It's not something I normally do because I don't usually feature torches on my channel. Um, I get offered so many torches. I, I mean, I mean, I get because I do mostly day daylight videos. I don't never. I don't really have a need for a torch other than when I go to these dark places like where like barns etc so this this company uh, army tech A-R-M-Y tech have sent me this torch it's called a Predator Pro Extended it's a pretty good torch I just do an on stream yeah I didn't do that just for shits and giggles that was purely my mistake but yeah it's got that light, that light also it comes with a multitude of goodies spare battery a carry case a brilliant invention in my opinion how to charge it magnet usb bloody brilliant uh, also comes with a red light and a green light magnet so you can stick it on your car On the front of your car you can stick it on the front of your car let me quickly show you that no actually i'll show you that after so yeah you can stick it there bang it on the front of your car and away you go so yeah i just want to give army tech a shout out thank you army tech for sending me this uh this uh torch i'll put the link down below so you can go and check them out they're pretty decent i mean they are in my opinion one of the best uh, brands for torches out there and the good thing about this torch too is when it's cold it warms up it keeps your hand warm that's another plus so yeah i just want to give uh, army tech a, a shout out for that let's jump over to the the other cars now and i'll see you in a moment oh these cars are unreal i hope we get, don't get caught recording them but if we do we still get a glimpse of them oh my god let's go the rs Hello, John. It's a two door. Camera's recording this. Oh, that thing's beautiful, that thing is. Definitely a fantastic morning find, ladies and gents. So, I don't mind the four door, really. It's got a bit of a dent there. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Lovely colour too. The wheels suit it well as well. They don't look like they've been sat here long though. Like abandoned sort of thing. They look like they've been used. He's blocked them in with this clearly. Got to love an Escort. Oh look how nice that one is. It's really clean. I don't want to get too close. I love how he's blocked it in with this. <laughs> how do you even knock the door? There's two buildings. 
I wonder what he's got in the garages. Unreal. Fantastic first first morning find that is. Let's hope the day actually brings us more gems like this. Well then, so now you've seen the escorts. The uh, the two door was, although the four door looked better than the two door, the two door was still. Um, I'd love a two door Mark II, Mark III Ford Escort, but they're so expensive these days. Anyway, we'll have a drive about, see what we can see on people's driveways, and hopefully get permission to record the cars. Um, we're not, we're not, we're no strangers to this type of content, so let's have a drive about and see what we can see. Well, I was hoping for two old cars, but I know, got all this land here and this old garage. And I was really hoping there'd be a couple of old cars in there. But no, not that lucky. I mean, sometimes you've got to just go with it. I mean, at the end of the road there, there's a huge stately manor. I doubt that's abandoned, but yeah, we don't do houses, but I seen this driving up and I thought there's got to be a car in there, but nope, no such thing. Let's keep looking. <laughs> I've just spotted something, ladies and gentlemen, that is bloody painful. Now I know you're probably, you're probably sick to death of seeing these, but this is painful, this is absolutely painful. Oh my god. Oh, that is painful, ladies and gents. Oh, that is painful. So that poor E30, oh, that was a 325 uh, BMW E30 and on original BBS sat on its arse. That car's been there a long time. I asked if I could record it and he was like, no, no, no. So <sighs> we win some, we lose some. Let's keep looking. I just noticed a car um, whilst driving down this this back lane. It's um, on someone's driveway. It looks like it's been there for a while. It's nothing special. It's a Mercedes, but it just looks cool how it's been sat for what looks to be a long time. So, but uh, walk to it now and have a bit of a bit of a nose. So as you can see, it's a. Uh, it's been here a long time. Very long time. It's got CCTV up there, look. Just a, it's just a decay. C220. It's been here a long time. Last on the road in 2010. Look at the build up. Look at that. She's been here an awfully long time. It's a lovely looking car. She's the elegance. It's 
Yeah. Lens is missing from it. More build up there, look. Check the registration, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, tell me what the mileage is and where she was last on the road properly. Can't always tell by the tax disc. I reckon it was most likely a one owner from new, probably. Wish she had certainly been here a while. But then, it's not the greatest car finds, but in all honesty, it's still still decent to add to the video. Um, the problem with what I do, as you know yourself, there's there's not many of these classic retro cars that I look for left anymore um, because the prices of them are going up. Whenever you see one that's in relatively decent, savable, salvageable, restorable condition, they're gone. Right then, let's uh, keep looking. We're losing the sunlight now. The sun's like halfway down, so it'll soon be too late to uh, record. So um, let's see if we can find anything before it gets too dark. Hello, sheepies. You okay, sheepies? I spotted this down here, ladies and gents. I thought, um, thought I might have had a few cars down here. Most likely not. I thought there might be an old landy knocking around in the forest. Most of the time, you tend to find some stuff, but this is all just scrap. This is farm scrap. Old farm scrap. Yep. No vehiculars in the bushes. No. Old caravan though. Old girl caravan though. You've got the kitchen sink there, look. And the one there too. Two kitchen sinks. Three sinks. Okay, now we're all sinks up here we are. I don't have miss bouncing around the country seeing what I can see. Bloody hell, I miss it. So we're going to do more of these videos, ladies and gents. Might not find much interesting, but bouncing around the old uh, countryside is fun and it helps the old the old ticker. Yeah, so it's an old Talbot look. I hope this hasn't got a perimeter alarm. Start squealing at me the second I walk in. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a shame to be sat there. She's a big girl as well. I like that. Always is having a shit. Doesn't look that bad in that bad knickers either. Big awesome. Oh, it's Talbot thingy. I mean, that there, it's probably worth a lot of money still. In all honesty. That's a, that's, that's a unit, that is. That is a unit. That's a, uh, got some milk there, look. Oh, squeegee. Yeah, that's a unit, that is. That should, uh, been here a long time, like. I quite haven't. I quite like having a bit of a nose. It's highly frowned upon because apparently you can't walk the Great British, British countrysides. Everybody owns something. Anyway, let's uh, keep looking. Well right then, so it's a new day. Um, this car still feels really weird. It's 
it's a new day. We didn't find much yesterday, so um, I've given up driving around the country. We're going to head to the city um, and see what we can uh, find there. Got one of the best jags ever produced here, look, in my opinion. Let's go knock the door and s or ask about this one, because in my opinion, it's one of the best jags ever made. The problem with these Jags is they're just too costly to run these days. Yeah, too costly to run these days. Beautiful interior, she's an auto. XJS. Very beautiful car, very underrated car. Um, problem with them though, they're very expensive. And did you know, those little flares down the back of the vehicle were actually uh, not meant for the car. A lot of you know that anyway. They actually, they actually left them on. Not a lot of people know that. Those flares that come down the back of the, the lines that come down the back of the bonnet from the roof, sorry, from the roof down to the boot, they weren't ever meant to be there. The, uh, the designer kept them in or somebody kept them in anyway spotted something half decent here look um i think it's american that's pretty cool isn't it is it american that's awesome yeah that was a nice spot that was was it American or Australian? I don't know. It looked really cool though. Look at this Volvo. She's a... Oh, look at that. That is a machine, I'd love that. Well, I know a lot, not a lot of people like these old Volvos, but I do, I think they're bloody awesome. See, on that street with the Volvo, there was a Mark IV Fiesta, there was a Mondeo, uh, there was a little Vauxhall, I can't remember what they're called, Mavano, not Mavano, is it a Mavano? A little tiny Vauxhall, like old person car. There was a, another Volvo, there was uh, a Citroen, and these are all, oh, and there was a Ford Focus Estate, all on the same estate, all left there, sat doing absolutely nothing. Now, that there, that was that, what's that? Five cars, six cars, five, six cars on the one estate. Now, out of all those, the only car recorded was the Volvo because those are the vehicles that a lot of people may like, but they're not really like wow factor cars. Do you know what I mean? And for me to find the wow factor cars is so bloody hard. Um, I mean, if, if I just recorded every abandoned car that I, I found, I come across, I'd have content for months, years, because there's so many abandoned cars, but they're kind of like, meh kind of cars, you know what I mean? I mean, okay, there's probably people watching me that loves those little, why is it not working? Loves those little, I'll put a picture up here so you know what I'm on about. People might love those. Oh, have a look at that Stokes. You have a good look around one of them. My nan had, my nan had one of them. I remember, they're not interesting. They're like, no, it's not. I wish these cars wouldn't keep going past, but you're on a road, Stu. I have to cruise slowly, so I don't know when cars are behind me. But yeah, so trying to find the, the retro cars of my era, like the Astra GTEs and the MG Turbos, which we found one recently, um, you know, the Vauxhall Novas, the BMW E30s, the Mercedes uh, E190s, 190s E, sorry. So sometimes the cars that I do find, we can't record anyway, so. Yeah, we're still looking, we're still looking. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just found a garden find of all garden finds, and oh my God, there are some cars here. There's an Alpina BMW. Oh! I 
really want to record every one of these cars, but I know they're going to say f off. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Alpina. Micro. It's a K10, isn't it? Subaru. Wow. I'm not getting any answer. I'm not getting any answer. Got Audi 200 there, Quattro. Got a Nissan Micro 1.2. Subaru Impreza. Alpina BMW here, look. Oh my god. She's a B10, 3.2. Got the Golf. Beautiful Golf. I don't know, see, there's got CCTV and everything I don't like. That turbo's been there a long time as well, look. Back tyre's completely flat. Porsche Turbo, Alpina BMW, Audi 200 Quattro, you've got the Micro, you've got the Subaru Impreza, this Ford Mondeo, which looks quite decent, and then you've got the 16-valve the, uh, Vol uh, Volkswagen GTI there. I mean, I mean, my God, if this is not a garden find, I do not know what, what is. My God. My mate wants one of those. I want a door again. I got a door. I mean, that Subaru Impressed has been there flipping long time. Look at the registration N25 sub. This golf, though. This golf is beautiful. She's not brand new. Wow, that is beautiful. That needs to be in the garage. Wow, this thing is gorgeous. Look at the wheels on it. Unreal, absolutely unreal. This Subaru's been here a long time, look. All the handbrakes up as well, which is terrible. Every handbrake on the car's up. This is a bit of a weird one, this is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really like being here. But if this isn't a decent find, I don't know what is.